Wow. 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 They just keep going. Wow. That is awesome. Okay. What a great machine. Oh, hi. I'm just playing with my new toy. This is my BRP Ghost motor. Better known as what I call the underboard. Because the outboard's underwater. This is my curl motor that fell like this and now it's underwater. What do you think of that shit? Good invention. You see how that worked? Did you get all that? Yeah. This is great. This does not come with it. This does not come with it. You don't get the billy club. So you use the engine to fucking pick it up and then you set that there and it's straight around the hole. This right here, which you can't see because it's so fucking low in the water, is it says in roll tax 150 junk. Now you can't see that part right there. There it is, people. What do you think of this stuff right here? What do you think of this? Comment below. Make sure you get a great comment on it because I think we should do a full video on this, Jordan. Snap some pictures and we'll do a follow-up video to our video. And let's talk about what can go wrong here, should we? It's going to be fucking epic. What a way to warm up in Wisconsin. Let's work on one of these. Great machine. Comment. How are we doing everybody? I am back with yet another video that I think you're going to enjoy. Did we release a little short this week, Jordan? Just a picture. Just a picture. I didn't get to talk in that one? Nope. Ha. Huh. What was I standing by? The ghost. <laughs> the ghost, that's right. The only one I've ever seen. It made it to my shop. What a great way to start off a video. You're gonna see a bunch of cool shit in this video, people. Uh, my last couple videos, you guys were entertained, you loved it, and it was honest, it was bold, it was true, and guess what? They built a book, and it's fucking 100 pages long, long, and we only grabbed three pages, and I believe all the notices and the caution things were taken out of my video, because it is literally what I talked about, and it is literally a fucking disaster. Okay, here we go. Well, first off, don't buy one of those if you know what it is. It's the ghost. Don't buy one of them because it is exactly what I said it was going to be and even better. Okay, so let's get into this here. We have in front of us, directly out of the Rotax, Rotex, row, row your boat because your fucking engine ain't going to run uh, manual. It is just direct pages. That's what you can see. It looks just like, oh, shit, I dropped it. Cut. Uh, Dropped it just like they dropped the ball on the fucking old outboard, underboard. Which they do call the underboard now, I believe, because it was in a release. It was like in a fucking release, which some people are now calling the underboard. That lady, that was awesome. All right, here we go. Let's just get into some of this shit, can we? I'm just gonna... This is so entertaining, people. This motherfucker is great. Here we go. Emergency start procedure. Can I, go, can I talk about the emergency, or you just want me to go into... The submerged outboard. Um, Why in the f are we even talking about submerged outboard? It's an outboard. It shouldn't be submerged. These are the. When your boat sinks, you submerge your outboard. Yeah, the direct. When the boat fills up with water because the bilge pump doesn't work, you submerge your outboard. You call your insurance. Yeah. What's this going on? Is, this is just their bulletin from their manual on if you have a submerged outboard. Just call your insurance. That's what you have insurance for. Why do you have a bulletin on it? Door. You want to cut? All right, cool. We're back at it. That's just how my day goes. What you see going on there. Is that all going to be part of this? You get to see these questions I get all day. Anyway, we were talking about the submerged outboard. And why is it submerged? Because they put a bulletin out on it. Let's just read it. Can I read it? Yeah. All right. S submerged outboard. If your outboard has been underwater, Have it serviced immediately upon recovery. After submersion, all boat and engine electrical and fuel oiling systems must be inspected for signs of water intrusion. Seek service from an authorized BRP dealer, repair shop, or person of your own choosing for maintenance repair or replacement. Please refer to the US EPA emissions related warranty, bold print, 
contained in your warranty guide for information about warranty claims. So what we just talked about was an engine that was underwater. Is your boat sunk at that time? No, boat's not sunk, right? Just the engine is sunk. Because in the picture of, is this a video? How are you doing? Are you putting a picture of me standing next to that with that water line, which proves that the boat is underwater? Or the motor is underwater? Are you putting that picture somewhere? We, we ran that before this. We did. So they saw the fucking scum line? Yeah. Where the fucking whole power head was underwater? Yep. That's submerged from the beginning. Is there any fucking outboards in the industry people that are underwater from the beginning? Any of them? None. How are they gonna warranty that? They're, they're gonna... Fuck, this is dumb. If your outboard has been underwater, have it serviced immediately upon recovery. They're like talking, it went to the bottom and it, the boat didn't sink. How do you do that with insurance? Just call your insurance company. We're not gonna, it's not under warranty no more, just call your insurance. Yeah, Bob? Yeah, my motor sunk. Oh, so the whole boat went down and sunk? No, just my motor sunk. How the, did your motor just sink, Andy? I, I was on vacation for a couple days and um, the uh, battery died in my boat because my pontoon, on my pontoon, uh, my battery died because my bilge pump was running all the time. Wait, you got a bilge pump in your pontoon? Yeah, in my motor, I got a bilge that runs, keeping the water out of the motor. So your motor, what? Yeah, I got a bilge pump in my outboard. What the fuck? How's this conversation gonna go? They're literally gonna think you're a fucking fraud for fuck's sake. Like, they're gonna have to come inspect it. You're gonna have to show them, like, leave it in the water, pontoons floating, and the underboard is out uh, under the water. And it, like, it, the bucket is full of water, and it doesn't crank. It's done, because my battery went fucking dead, because now my bilge pump don't work, and my ball valve took a shit, and now I got fucking water in my intake, and now my motor goes kink, kink. Because you went to O'Reilly's or fucking Advanced Auto or Walmart and got a battery, put it back in there, and the battery still don't fucking work because now it don't start because it's full of water. Is that not what I said in this first fucking video? All your components run off of your 12 volt battery. And uh, do we get into that? I think, I don't know that we do. So if it's all run off your 12 volt battery and it's hot, it has to be hot all the time, correct? So it's drawing on your battery. Chad, what happens when you put a draw on your battery and you go on vacation for a long time and your boat's floating? Battery goes dead. But what about if water's getting into my water intrusion system and it needs 12 volts to pump the water out of my cowling? It sinks. Water flooding engine. That is our next notice. Water flooded engine. Make sure that the battery is fully charged, especially when leaving the boat in the water for an extended period. Oh, honey, we're home. Let's go for a boat ride. Wait, Jill, all I can see is the bow eye because the rest of it's fucking underwater. Oh, that's okay. Just hit the pump. It'll come back up. No, Jill, the fucking pump didn't work because the 12 volt battery's dead because we left for a week and a half and the son of a bitch is hot all the time and the battery went dead and then all of a sudden our water intrusion system didn't work. Oh, what does that mean? Call insurance. Everything's fucking junk. Start over. You can't put it at your dock. The engine enclosure and exhaust water detection components are battery powered. Loss of battery power may result in water flooding the engine enclosure and exhaust. What in the f did I just read? Battery goes dead motor and water intrusion because your bucket seal went to shit. water in battery not pumping water components ball valves fucking no 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 notice never try to crank or start the engine water trapped in the intake manifold would flow towards the engine and possibly cause severe engine damage how do you know that there's water in there if you're, let's just say that your pump went dead, 
you have water in there, you don't know that, you think your battery went dead, and you fucking, or your battery did go dead, you put a battery in it, there's water in there, it starts to pump again, does the alarms go off and shit? Is there bells and whistles going off? I would hope. Like, ee, 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 no, 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 don't fucking crank, is that shit going on? Like, because it, it needs to be like fucking LEDs rolling across. No crank, no crank, no crank. Like fucking Johnny Five, no disassemble. That bullshit. If you crank, we will disassemble. What in the fuck? Bring the engine to an authorized BRP dealer as soon as possible. There ain't none left. How are you getting it on the trailer? You ain't. <laughs> You're getting your BRP jet ski. Boom, 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 boom. Towing your fucking beautiful Manitou, and the Manitou is beautiful. The Manitou is just a beautiful machine. Um, failure to have the engine properly serviced may cause severe engine damage. We already fucking went through that, and we already know that there's water in there. It's fucked. There's no reason. Just call them up and say, send it back. I don't want it. Towing the boat in the water. Should you require to tow the boat from another boat? We're getting into how you get it to the so. So you, this is so it's fucked, right? We're at the dock, we're fucked. You're at your house, you're fucked, can't start your shit. Now you gotta tow it. All right, shift the engine into neutral. Got it. Tilt the gear case out of the water. The battery's dead, I can't tilt it. Can't tilt it. Put my jump pack on it. Still don't work. Battery's fucking dead. I don't have another battery. I'm in bum fucking Egypt. There's nowhere to go to be a battery. No one has a battery. The car battery I'm not taking out of my truck because it's fucking underneath my seat. Some bullshit like that. I don't have a battery. Okay, skip that one. Uh, offload all persons into another boat. Get the fuck off. Everybody off. All right. Next page. Keep the speed slower than planing speed. Can't just just barely pull me. We're on to the notices. You ready? Notice, failure to follow these instructions may result in damage to the engine. It's literally all about damage to the engine. Here we go. Notice number two, never tow the boat facing backwards as water intrusion may occur. Can you back it up? Like when it's running? Can you, does that work? You can't back the thing up. Can you? Jordan, you're not talking to me here. You <laughs> witnessed one on the water. You heard it run. You told me on a lake. Yeah. Sound like a tractor. Yeah. Because it was full of water. It's going forward. You can't go backwards. They shouldn't even put reverse in this motherfucker. Caution. We're on caution now. A tow line shall always be made fast. Well, that's just bullshit. We don't even need to talk about that. Uh, transporting the outboard. Trailering. Here's the deal. I'm gonna get to it. I, I gotta I gotta finish. Trailer. Keep everyone clear of the stern area. Oh sh thing's so big it'll eat you. Uh, when raising and lowering the outboard, personnel injury personal injury or death could result from contact with moving parts of the outboard. Okay, that's cool. Notice when trailering the outboard, do not, do not, bold print, cover the engine with the canvas. This will dull the finish of the outboard. You're gonna dull the finish of the, did you see the picture of the one that is in the fucking video? That bitch is like OD green. The river fucking shit all over it. The whole thing, because the fucking Slimer slimed the shit, except for like this much of the top of the collar. The bitch is underwater. The motor's underwater. There's no way around it. This is air. What's left, that's air up there. That thing is underwater. You ain't gonna worry, I'm not worried about, they should've just made it matte black or something. Don't even worry about the color because it's gonna be green by the time you're done. Jesus balls. Trailering lever, we don't care about. Transporting for storage, we don't care about because this thing should just go to the bin. We have a warning here. Can I, can, should I read this warning, Jordan, or do we not need to read this warning? We don't need that one. We don't need that one. Environmental note. Where's, the, where's there a spot about Timmy on here? Didn't we talk about Timmy on here somewhere? Uh, can't stand on the back deck. Where is that it? Where is it? Where is it? I want to talk about it. Page two? It's not on page two. Trailering the outboard. Trailering lock position, vertical position. Engine will uh, lock and lower. 
transporting to storage, seal, lines, um, shifting neutral, start the engine, important, rotate. I don't know where it is on here. But they talk about what we talked about in the first video about ejecting Timmy clean off the back of the boat. And it really does it, people. It, it literally does it. Outboard goes back to being an outboard when you trim it all the way up. And you and you trim it down. So you can't stand here because <laughs> this motherfucker is a divorce waiting to happen. That's what this is. This is a divorce waiting to happen. You're gonna buy one, you're gonna think you're gonna enjoy it, your whole life's gonna go to shit. you're gonna kick your kid off the back deck, or somebody's gonna have too much alcohol and be standing on the back deck, someone's gonna hit the trim, they're gonna fall off, it's just gonna be a bad deal. I mean, it is literally a seventy, eighty thousand dollar divorce waiting to happen. Cause it's not fucking boating. It's, I don't, it, they should have just put IOs in there. They should have come back with the Cobra IO. Fuck it, put that in there. That's better than what is on the back of that pontoon. And then they tell me, I heard through the grapevine that they, they did twins. They fucking did twins. They put two of these bitches, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Two of these outboards or underboards on the back of pontoon. Looked awesome. Two big, boom, just mammoths back there. And they linked them together with joystick. So everybody knows when you're going side to side, what do the motors do? right so they go out to go in so if i'm going towards the dock and i go like this and i go like this do you know what hits the dock before the pontoon the underboard hits the dock that's how big it is we measured it jordan what was my measurement 44 44 inches yeah, hanging off the back of your transom 44 inches of fun by 47 tall. It is almost as long as it is tall. So you got 44 inches of and it literally hits the dock before the pontoon does. No joystick steer for you. You don't get to do that because you get to ram your fucking ghost into the dock. They could put bumpers on it. It could be like a bumper. You know what I mean? You could just get them nice big bumpers on the side. You just leave it out. And you just only need one bumper in the front. That could be a selling package for them. They could just fucking turn it all the way one way, lean it up against the dock. We got this bumper built in, and then we'll put a bigger, another one up front, a big bumper up front. So you never need a back bumper. You only need one bumper each side. So it doesn't matter what side you go on. This is some of the coolest shit I've ever been around in the industry. This whole deal right here. And I wasn't even able to take, to take the, I couldn't take the top off of it because I didn't want to break the seal so the engine, oh my God, oh my God. Is there anybody left building these things? Do we know any information on that? No, we don't know any information on that. Are they selling them? Obviously, we saw one. You saw one. As we've seen two literally like movers. In the real world. In the real world? Yeah. yeah, like somebody paid for that. You know, I think any salesman that sells one should get enormous commission because they're really good at what they do. Like really good at what they do. Like the government should hire them to fucking handle overseas sales and stuff like that. I mean, cause they could sell this shit we're living in now to anybody because that's an impossible sale. Anybody that fucking knows anything about boating and everything to do with it would look at that and go, no. Nope, nope, mm -mm. not good, nope, sorry, nope, can't, no, 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 it's really good. It's good on gas, it's quiet, nope, nope, nope. That's, nope, no, I can get you in it for 75.5, nope. 65.5, nope. Uh, best I can do is 58.9, nope. Give it to you, nope. Nope, you ain't even gonna give me one. Not gonna do it, not gonna be part of it, not gonna have it, not gonna start it, not gonna run it, not gonna fucking own it, not gonna have it sitting anywhere near but in a trash fucking can. That is the biggest garbage pile I've ever seen in my life. There's nothing good coming out of it. I can only imagine what it costs when the submerged outboard happens. 
And I want to know how many get submerged. All of them. They're already pre-submerged. This shit's good. This shit's, it's over. It's it's under fucking water. And it's operated on a 12 volt battery. That is going to go dead. Like I said in the first video, it's not going to be good. It's just not going to be good. And people are going to say, well, the one you just looked at, I don't know. I wasn't able to get in there. The battery was low when it came. So was it pumping the water out? Probably. I mean, it should, they should change this. When outboard comes for service, if battery is below 12 volts, remove upper bucket cowling and inspect for water. If water has been intruded, reseal, or you should reseal every year. That should be as part of the service program with them. Top comes off, 77 screws comes out, and reseal it, put it back on every year. Literally like a mud motor when you gotta work on the fucking belt drives and stuff. Just reseal it every year. Just take the cover off, lay the goo in there, put the shit back on every year, every single year. If I owned one of these, I'd do it every three months. It's the only way it's, because insurance ain't gonna cover this. Warranty's gonna be gone. Now, what is a warranty on one of these? Do we even know the warranty? Somebody comment on the warranty on these. Somebody's watching this video and comment. And if you don't wanna comment as yourself, comment as fake i don't care i want to know the warranty on this trash can i gotta know the warranty on this thing or we're gonna do research we gotta find out the warranty on this because i want to know because I, they're talking about warranty on this right here warranty how do you warranty something that's already underwater they should have called it the rotex submarine what's going on here guys what happened and we're back. Sorry about that. We had a little issue, uh, but it's solved and we're on our way. Here we go. We're talking about warranty. Jordan, give me some warranty. We had time to figure out the warranty because I had to go fucking deal with the other shit here. 36 consecutive months or 750 hours? 36 consecutive months, three years, or what is this, a fucking car? No, isn't that how they do cars? They use the ATV warranty and put it on, or UTV warranty. 36 consecutive months, three years, or 700 and what? 50. Seven, why don't they just go 800? 750 hours. That's the warranty. Top to bottom. They're going to go bankrupt because of this motor. It's over. That's all I got to say. Do I need to talk about this anymore? This is a joke. This is literally a joke. This is. I went from a serious video about other shit to the big top. Like fucking Bozo the Clown playing the fucking grand prize game. Shit. I mean, and and they're so stuck on that the industry is going to change to them. Like they're going to, they their words are they're you guys are going to go to this. You're going to be this. That's literally their words. You guys are going to convert from what you're running and you're going to this. This is the wave. This is the new future. This is the industry. Comment if you're going to change, please, in bold print, because we want to know who's going to change. If you're not going to change, you can comment whatever you want at this point. I would, and I would actually like to see some really good comments, if you know what I mean. Um, allow BRP to know how you feel, because they're going to see this video. I guarantee they're going to see this video, because you guys are going to take this thing next level, because that's what you do, and that's why we appreciate what you do. So go ahead, let them know, because even Mercury's going to laugh at this one. Yamaha is probably already laughing. Suzuki is just chuckling. And the people that left BRP because they were making the best products that they could with what they were given are probably going to just sit back, relax, kick their feet up, maybe grab a cigar and an alcoholic beverage and enjoy the shit out of this video. And I take my hat off to all of you and say thank you for the time you put in and you're probably glad that you left because of this project. Because this project is a ghost and they're not around and it's not going to be here long it's going to disappear with the fucking wind because no one's going to change to this mark my words andy for president here we go i said it from the beginning i'll say it at the end this should have stayed like this not like this you should have brought me a fucking electric outboard and you should have made it perfect and you should have been way better you brought me this and that's what it did Terrible. That's it. That's all I got. Jordan, anything? Make sure we're commenting on this video. You comment as much as you can. I don't give a shit. You give me a storyboard at this point. Give me something. Tell me if you're if you're going to switch to this. Yeah, say I'm switching or I've switched. Great. Hats off to you because you just you bought an underwater board. 
That's what you bought. Make sure you make sure your warranty's up and get your seal changed. But if you're not going to switch, I'd love to hear why you're not going to switch. How come you're not going to switch? Why won't you be part of, of the new era of the marine world? No, it's not happening. It's not happening. Not while I'm around, it ain't happening, I'll tell you that. Jordan, what do you got for me, buddy? Did we get our underboard t-shirt made? It have been a great time to release it. Yes. We did get it made? Yep. <laughs> You just put yourself on a hell of a timeline. Don't make it happen. Great. It's going to be coming, so take make sure you pay attention to the store. Get yourself your underboard t-shirt. I'd love to see them everywhere in the world. That would be awesome. Might be our best seller. Get yourself your underboard t-shirt. I can't wait to see it because I'm sure it'll be great. Make sure you monitor that store. Make sure you're around it. Just, he'll probably post it to Facebook or something when it drops. Make sure you get over there, get on it, pick it up a little bit. If you got any more comments, make sure you're commenting. Comment, comment, comment. Give me some laughs on some of the shit. I, I do watch myself time to time, and I do, when I'm in a bad mood, I just flip myself on and start watching. It kind of makes me laugh. I see where you guys get it from. Uh, but once again, I appreciate all your support. Pre appreciate everything you've been doing for us lately. Uh, it's coming to that time of the year where we want to give you the best videos we can because it's starting to get cold. People are starting to stay inside. We'll make sure we always bring you the best content that we can get, and we get it from you, the people that are supporting us, and we love every minute of it. And that's why we're here. Once again, thank you very much. I appreciate all your support. Appreciate who you are, and I appreciate the marine industry for bringing me the highest of highs and the lowest of lows because that's what you can do. It's a great world to be in, and I love every minute of it. And as always, comment, subscribe, and click every, every inch that you can. Comment, 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 because we need it. Subscribe. Click the notification bell. Witness the madness. That, what's his name? Jose? Jose? Jose. Jose! Is soon to say, speed. Money. No breaks. I'm out. See ya!